Hi, today we're going to look at the top five GitHub pull request like integration. Uh, we've listed them in a blog article, but I'm going to talk about them today and show you. Here's a table that we've made. Um, you can look it up. So let's look at the first one, Axelo. Um, I'm, I'm the founder of Axelo, and the reason I, I made Axelo is I couldn't find anything like this out there. Um, so the basis of Axelo is pretty simple. For every pull request, we're creating one Slack channel that is going to be archived whenever you close or merge your pull request. Um, this is how it looks like. I'm actually going to show you how it looks like on my Slack. So uh, let's look at um, this one, for example. So my co-founder Arthur created a pull request earlier. He wants to warn user if he tries to install Axelo on different GitHub organization. So this is a body. Uh, I can click on see the pull request. It's going to lead me to GitHub directly. And um, whenever you talk on the Slack channel, it's going to be here as well on GitHub. So this is good because you keep a record of everything that is being said on the pull request. And if there are some code comments, uh, like this one, for example, uh, you can talk about it in Slack and it's going to be as a thread uh, within Slack and as a thread within GitHub. So this is pretty useful. Uh, and what we usually have as well is the status of the pull request within the name of the Slack channel. So here, for example, I can see this one is work in progress. Uh, this one is reviewable. So if you have a lot of pull requests, it's easy to see what needs to be done. Um, so what we really like at Axelo is um, that uh, productivity hack that we had uh, is to have one channel for every single project. Uh, here it's pull request and we don't have access to the code it's fully integrated with github like you saw uh, all the comments the code comments github actions merge mergeability checks and deployments are uh, shared within slack and that's that's pretty neat it's easy to set up uh, usually for a company that is between 100 to 200 employees um, or even less it's going to take a few minutes to set up and improvements. Uh, some teams have shared with us that it can be a little bit noisy that uh, to create a channel for every pull request and to be notified all the time. Uh, what we usually recommend is that you only uh, set up notification on Slack for direct messages and uh, mentions, so you don't get uh, too many notifications. So that's it about Axelo. Uh, let's look at the next integration the official Slack and GitHub integration. Um, this is how the landing page looks like. And uh, let's look it up. So I've installed uh, the integration already. And um, I'm going to try to see how it works. So subscribe. And I think yeah, I've uh, saved uh, the, uh, the name of the org and um, the name of the repository here. So if I do that, normally I should be able to subscribe. So now every time there is a new issue, a pull or comment release deployment, I will receive a notification on this channel. Uh, so let's try it out. Let's go on GitHub. I'm gonna, um, let, let's, let's create a new pull request. So, all right, I'm going to create a new branch. I'm going to uh, invite Arthur. So I'm creating the pull request. All right, so 
I, I received a global notification. Uh, the pull request has been opened. Um, so this is good. I mean, it works. Um, it's not easy when you're a lot of people and uh, everybody gets notified. Sometimes those notifications get uh, like lost within all the notifications, uh, but it works. Um, so what we like is it's highly customizable. It's, it's well documented uh, and you can get the code that can be displayed right in Slack. Uh, let, let's look at the documentation really quickly. Help. So there are a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, you can subscribe to repository, owner, uh, reviews, comments, uh, like very specific stuff, even issues. Uh, so that that's pretty good. Um, but that's also a fallback because it takes a while to set up and also to maintain. If you have a lot of repositories that are being created, you need to set it up every single time. Uh, and I think the slash comments can be confusing. For myself, like every time I wanted to subscribe to a new repository, I, I, need, I needed to relearn how to do it every single time. And uh, sometimes I was just too lazy to do it. Let's look at the next one. So Toast Ninja. Um, it's a simple um, reminder bot. They do a great work at uh, telling you, okay, this needs your review. It's going to send you a direct message. Uh, so it works. It's pretty good. Um, I like the way they are very um, well integrated within Slack. You can, whoops. You can do everything within Slack, like login on GitHub and all of that. They also have an enterprise version, and uh, I know they also do analytics. Uh, for example, how many pull requests you have done in the in the past week, uh, who has done what, how many uh, lines of code you've been creating, and a line of code you've been deleting and stuff like that. Um, what we think is missing is that they don't have GitHub Actions, uh, they don't have deployment notifications, pull request checks and they have no collaborative aspect uh, whatsoever. So you have to uh, make it on your own to like discuss pull requests, or you have to do it in GitHub. Uh, not everything can be done in Slack. Uh, let's look at the two next one, and the two last one, Cut Keybug and Eliminder. Um, I put them together because I think they're pretty similar. Um, the only thing, Eliminder uh, has an integration with GitLab, but uh, they will notify you for like every kind of uh, event you can think of uh, within pull request. Um, it's free, it's simple. Um, it's gonna send you direct messages or it can be a one channel based notification. Um, what, what we don't like, we ask ourselves, is it being maintained? I haven't seen any more uh, ch changes in the past few years. Um, and we don't have GitHub notifications, deployments, etc. Um, so it probably works. I haven't, I haven't used them recently, so, um, but I think it's, it's still out there. So for the conclusion, uh, we've seen two different kind of uh, pull request integration. The simple notification bus based on events. Uh, they're mostly reminder apps uh, that, well, like we saw. And we have the truly collaborative apps, and this is why we uh, we created Axelop. Uh, it the fact that we create a channel for every single pull request, it makes it easy for engineers to collaborate on that, and um, all the documentation is going to be on GitHub. Whereas before, you could talk to someone directly because you wanted to ask him, "Oh, did you have time to review my pull request?" Um, and what we've seen also with the company that are using us, what usually takes a day or two will only take a few hours uh, when you use Axel because you can talk about it in a much easier way. So that's it for today. Uh, if, you're, if you're all the way here, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Have a good day.